it's Tina Farmer, Senior Theater Critic with KDHX St. Louis, and I'm here at the Humana Festival in Louisville uh, talking with the playwrights of We've Come to Believe, Emily Feldman, Matthew Paul Olmos, and Kara Lee Corthran. Hi guys, thanks for taking a minute to talk to me. Um, so I understand that each of you wrote parts or sections of the play, and then it's kind of come together as a single story. Can you talk a little bit about your part in the process and then what it felt like to see the whole as a finished piece? Um, I think it was really exciting to see the whole, which we all just did last night, so several hours ago. <laughs> um, it was really exciting, actually. Because um, it's a unique process in that we were commissioned to write from a theme. The theme being um, mass delusion, mass hysteria, however you want to put it. Um, and so we each kind of tackled it in very different ways and we have very different voices and artistic perspectives. So what was really cool was that that wasn't lost, but the whole evening kind of felt like an experience more than like one story or one play, which is kind of unique. And so I don't know, it was very fun. It was very fun to see. long, wide-ranging phone conversation in September, and we were talking about what belief means, what cults in America are, and we had a very thick research packet that the Actors Theater <laughs> dramaturgical team had put together for us, and we just, we talked through it, and then we also just brought up anything that we were thinking about related to the theme, and then we decided that we weren't going to tell each other anything about what we were writing. We were just going to take a month or two and turn in 20 minutes of material and that's what we did and of course we're all very different writers and so there was really no overlap in terms <laughs> of in, ter in terms of content and so that was it was exciting last night like Kara said to see it all um, woven together by our director in a process that um, we were here for bits of it but um, it was a, it was definitely a surprise yeah, I was kind of adding, we also had time to after rehearsal out here in Louisville to sort of see what the other writers had written and then sort of like, as they're sort of rewriting our own pieces, to sort of think, like, I think I wrote an additional small piece, kind of just inspired by like what I was already seeing in terms of theme of recovery and what like sparked my interest in terms of like, oh, that's so cool, they were talking about that. So then I just, I, that leads me to think about this aspect of mass delusion. So it was kind of cool to like, so there was a bit of like bouncing off of each other in terms of like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool, they're going to make me think about this. And I hadn't thought of when I originally wrote the first piece. Wow, that is really interesting. And the whole idea of bringing different artists together to create something new is just fascinating to me. I wish you all a lot of success. Do you guys have anything coming up next that you want to talk about real quick? Um, watch you on Netflix. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Can't <laughs> watch that. Oh, okay. okay. Thanks very much. Um, oh, from the human. Oh, no, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> well, everybody watch you. Look out for these three playwrights and screenwriters. They're Emily Feldman, Matthew Paul Olmos, and Kara Lee Corthwin from the Humana Festival in Louisville. This is Tina Farmer for KDHX St. Louis.